Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my A5 Safiano in the granite color. It arrived today and I wanted to set it up with you. It has really big wings. I want to say it's like the same size as the Malden, honestly, the Ogre Malden. Um, it came really nice package from UPS, which I ordered it on Amazon, um, I think Tuesday. So there you are. I think it's a very sturdy, really nice cover. I don't think I've ever owned an A5 Safiano. I know I've, I've owned a compact and a personal. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. So I really love how it's come packaged. There's no gaps in the rings. It's honestly really, really nice. So if you watched my part one of this video, um, thing about the a5 rings i told you what i was going to kind of do i bend it back right here because i wanted it to lay flat now um i wanted this to be a mixture of things so i had showed you four different binders and um how i used all of those but i wanted to take those elements and create um one and this was because i don't know i like to create things i like to use different sizes i like different covers i like different setups to kind of re-inspire me i love what it came with it came with five new dividers all of the paper all of the inserts the vertical weekly which i love it came with a ruler it came with um the back little plastic cover and then that little notepad so i think this is a great 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 a5 binder for about 67 or 63 dollars i'm just loving it so right away i'm going to take everything out that i know i'm going to use i never use those color papers i just i don't know i've tried i think the lines and because they're color they they, they do something to my eyes so i'm taking those out I am going to use the vertical weeks um, for more of like the pretty planning that I do in like my A5, I mean my B6 and my A6 Wonderland, but just in rings for fun. So I'm taking it to find the correct date and then I'm just going to take out the rest. I do find later that I'm going to only keep until June of this year because in this section I'm going to have another uh, week on a page. So what I want to do is label the dividers. Um, I'm looking for some stickers. I thought maybe I would do labels and then like paste, type up the labels and like paste them on the, the little labels. But I was like, no, I'm finding some little stickers that I can kind of just stick on the um, dividers themselves and just kind of write them out. Um, I've done that in the past and I know that if I wanted to reuse these dividers, I, um, because I already have the, the names down, I can just get like an Avery tab, put it over that name and then like relabel. I like that there's all kinds of different ways to do things. So the first, uh, the first one that I'm going to name is inbox in the inbox. I want to be able to catch you know, just no nonsense list and just write things I write down. I mean, just, I always have some kind of inbox scratch paper, posted notes, all kinds of like, just right up front in the beginning of any setup, especially on a ring binder. Um, I really love these um, dividers that it comes with. I remembered that in my daily today, I already had uh, wrote down what I wanted this setup to look like. So I just kind of took it out of my personal size. And um, the setup I thought was more so uh, the inbox dailies, weeklies, mental faith, and then other. Now, in terms of, like I said, the inbox, I just really love putting down um, list right there now the inserts that come with the filofax those to do's they are dreamy in the a5 size i love them in the personal size um i always try and keep a stock of those but in the a5 size they are so 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 nice so um i am kind of just labeling all of the the inserts right there but I do love the variety of the different paper in the inbox section. I have lines, I have grid, and I have blank. More than likely, I'll probably take the blank out and replace that with moleskin paper or Sology paper. 
just because I, I have some laying around. Um, so I really love that. I am using this Pilot uh, Precise V5 RT to label out my um, dividers. And it's a, in a thin nib, so it's really helpful to kind of finely lay out those titles. In the daily section, I will have um, the Carpe DM or Simple Stories uh, inserts. I, I've used those a lot in the past, and I really, really do appreciate them. So I will do that. In the weekly, you will see me use the vertical, and you will see me use the week on a page. The week on a page is going to be more functional, and then one's going to be pretty. I just love having a pretty planning and a functional planning. When I mean functional, I mean just kind of like minimal stickers, highlighters, pen to, to paper, and that's basically it. In the mental section, I'm going to have those anxiety check-in sheets, and I'll probably fill um, these in with some little topical little scriptures or topical things for my mental. Um, I might put some more of my cognitive distortion information from my A5. In this video, I didn't do that, but... In the mental section, I really wanted it to be an area where I can focus on my mental. In the faith section, I will have just um, a devotion and a week on two pages horizontal so I can write out scriptures. And then sermon, devotional notes, and then notes, line paper for that. And then lastly, my last section is other. That will be a monthly. So what you're going to see in this video is me constructing all of that you're going to see me pull from um, all of the other binders. I was trying to do it live with y'all and talk with y'all and do it with y'all. But man, I, I just I get in my zone and I need quiet for myself to think. And I can do it kind of quickly when I do that. But when I start talking and trying to explain everything, I kind of get spastic and, you know, squirrel. And I'm like, what am I trying to do here? <laughs> So I thought it would be better to stop talking like five minutes in and then just kind of show different things so I can go later back and do a, a voiceover. So I really love that I've already had all of the different A5 setups. I think A5 rings are really good for a home management binder, are good for topical like faith or like work. Um, could it be my main planner? Never, no. <laughs> I don't think rings could ever be my main planner anymore. I think I'm just a bound girl for my main planning. But rings are so good for reference and so good for topical that I just absolutely love them. So as you can see, I took had some of the vertical out and I'm going into this binder to take the daily, the functional week on a page, and then the um, horizontal. Now, these A5 inserts were gifted to me. They're 2021, and I don't care for that. Like, I would definitely repurpose. I am one of those gals that love to cover up dates and just repurpose things. I don't... The inserts, I kind of rarely try to buy those. Um, I like focusing on buying maybe covers because I can shop my stash for the variety of different inserts that I want. So I'm just kind of moving things over and um, these horizontals, y'all, are the business for just small little scripture writing. Um, I like to scripture write in rings. I like to soap study in rings. I like to listen to podcasts and notes and take. I like to do all of the same exact things, but in different sizes and covers. So and this Safiano honestly is so roomy. Um, I really do believe if you know, you're looking for like a leather cover. Of course, this is not it, but I have the leather A5 mold in. It is so big. I have used that for work when I was working full time in HR because it allowed me to do a lot of the stuff that I needed to do, like in terms of employee relations and um, my HRIS stuff and my management and management of people and stuff. It just was really roomy for that. And then you can section things out. But for using it at home, it is perfect, in my opinion, for like home management. Um, you can like section out reference things and just, oh man, rings are wonderful. So um, I'm pulling from the black binder now. I knew that those were a lot of different inserts in there that I was going to use. 
I just decided on taking the monthly ones at this point. Um, I've got a lot of different, like I think I got like three different inserts in there that I can use. I start taking some of the vellum because I like to use the vellum or like the acetate for uh, placeholders and dividers and such. So as you can see, I probably had bought another or I don't know, I probably, you know what, these dividers right here that you see in here, I, I bought them on Amazon. You can buy the Amazon, um, the dividers on Amazon for Filofax on any different size. I love that. So I'm taking those devotional notes as well, and I'm starting to just kind of assemble the sections. I'm really trying to open my rings correctly for years. I'm talking years. I would open them wrong. I would open them with holding the ring open and like just pulling on them. Sorry, I need water. And um, it's just so bad to do that. Those recollection lined note pages right there are the, oh my gosh, I wish they would sell those inserts by themselves. I have not been to Hobby Lobby or Michael's in a little bit. I don't know what they have right now, but those came in every A5 binder that you would buy and like um, Michael's, I want to say. And um they no longer have them. So I think that's where I got those inserts when I bought some A5 dividers and stuff and inserts from Michael's. So I'm putting that there. That is just a little small acetate with the sticky and it's getting these uh, lists right there to, to kind of just chill, get stuff done. I really love this and any ring size. I, they do this in all of my ring size, my A6, my personal, my pocket. I like sticking um, lists that are not in the rings. So I told myself I was going to use that as the dashboard. So I really do like it. It's from, again, probably the Hobby Lobby inserts. What are those? Agenda 52, maybe? I don't know. So I put that at the front and I'm just kind of re I'm placing all of the different uh, dividers where I want them to be, the little vellum. And I'm just sectioning it out. So I'm taking things from the other binders to get like divider placement holders for each of the different sections. Um, some of them are slit. Some of them are not. So I'm just kind of taking that one. Uh, I think I made those out of a happy planner. It was like a disc bound happy planner set. And I made dividers for my A5. I think I have a video on that, honestly. I think it was for A5 Malden. But... <clears throat> I love slicing and dicing the little rings right there so you can just kind of easily put stuff in and out. Um, I really want to use those for like the functional. That's like, what are we doing at this week and what are we doing for the next week? And then like you can open it up to where you have two weeks that you can look at in advance. I think that's awesome for like the planning too, like when you're pre-planning or when you're future planning, I can open that to when I use my um, main planner and be like, okay, um, what are we doing this week and what are we doing next week? And then writing stuff down. Oh my gosh, I love that. So I like to, anytime I open up a, a divider, I like to see a pretty landing board. So I will work on the side, um, of these dividers throughout the video and i'm pretty sure i'll just when off camera get some more things and and pull things together but i don't know i i always like to look at something pretty especially if it's beginning of a divider like right there i don't like that it's just chilling right there and there's nothing pretty to look at later on i bring in a divider and some post-it notes to put there but um uh, these are wonderful. These A5 uh, inserts that they come with. I just hate that blue writing. Like, why did you guys do that? So what I do is I normally just white it out. I white out that blue writing and um, I call it a day. I just, oh, I feel like it's just a wasted space with all these different languages that you put there. And I understand you want to be diverse with everybody's language, but just sell the dividers in people's language or the inserts and you won't have no issue. But anyways, kudos to Filofax because these inserts are bomb diggity fresh. So I love that brown vellum. I think it came from my, my friend Shia. Thank you, girl. If you watch this, I freaking love it. I have no idea where you get all these vellums from, but I really appreciate that you sent me those. So, um, I am putting just things down again on the landing boards of each divider when I open it. That's my bullet journal key code. I'm taking it from the blue or the black, I mean the black or the brown um, binder. And I'm just like, yes, going to town. 
Now, if you guys ever need inspiration for any kind of size, I promise you, I probably filmed on it. And if I haven't filmed on it, you can just let me know. And I probably will film on it. Like, there is fun to be had in this community. You guys can just, I promise you, set up what you want. Like, shop your stash, set it up. And then like put it back on your shelf. And then later on when you see something and you're like, oh my gosh, I have fear of missing out. I want it. You already have it on your shelf and you'll be like, well, let me go play with this for a little bit. And then when you play for a little bit, you're going to be like, I don't want this. And then it's like the, the immediate solve for not completely buying everything. Now, my issue sometimes is buying different covers. I love the covers. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like changing my underwear, changing my bras, changing my, my purses. <laughs> You know, us women need to accessorize. So that's why we love this in the community. So I say embrace it. Stop trying to be like, oh my gosh, look at what I did. I mean, you know, just, just get it. Just get it. So um, I think at some point I was trying to find the other portion of this because I realized like we're on February 3rd. And I think I took out, you know, the February, the January 31st through the 2nd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back plan the 31st all the way through the 6th with my stickers because why wouldn't I? Like, it's just so fun. And I like that I already have all of the data from my main planner. And then I could just, it's all it is, is just writing at that point because you just got everything there and placing down stickers and using your stickers. So if, if you guys ever wonder, how do I get to use my stickers? Well, you just make all of the different sizes and you go to town. <laughs> as long as you have one main planner that houses all your data, why not go have fun? Oh my gosh. I was talking to several ladies um, over the course of the week. Like we were not made to be in this community to be a one planner gal. I'm sorry. Like, we're just not. We're, you can try and it will work for a long time for you, but then you're going to get bored. You, I guarantee you, you will get bored. You will start looking at something else. So that's why I'm like, let's have a main planner, Monique, and you can go play and do everything else. So anyway, that's my tangent. So I am actually sitting here with the planner, whiting out dates, just kind of going through it. I decide I can try to do some pocket decor. Um, I always like my pockets to have some function in terms of the stickers I'm going to use, the labels I'm going to use, the post-its I'm going to use. Um, that way, if I just take that binder anywhere or throughout the house or wherever, I have the things that I want and need for that particular setup. So my sticker, I mean, my pockets are always going to have like post-it notes, scripture, um, stickers, and things of that nature. I am debating on if I wanted to put that little small book in here. Um, at some point, I do remove all of that glorious paper, that little you know uh, notepad they give, which is amazing that they give all of that paper. I think this is just such such a good buy for sixty seven dollars. To be honest with you. So um, I'm just looking around. I was looking for some paper, like coordinating paper that I can put, but I just decide to just go to town on putting um, these post-its. So it comes with one large little pocket down there and then like four other little card pockets. So if it's your jam to use it as a, um, you know, like a wallet or whatever, you can put business cards there as well. I'm just covering it up. Um, I'm looking through my things to see what I want to use. I eventually settle on a scripture. Um, I want to say it's Psalms 105, 3, glory in his glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. I get those little scriptures from Hobby Lobby. They're in like little scripture boxes. Um, I mean, I just love it. So I also love that sugar plum right there. Those are like sugar plum labels or something like that from Target. Um, they came... I think I bought, I think you could still buy them at Target. I got them a while back and I really love those. I was going to probably use those to um, relabel my dividers because they're kind of muted covers, uh, colors. So I um, was recently gifted those post-its. So I wanted to make sure I use them. I'm just putting them all throughout to see where, you know, one of the little dividers has nothing I put those there with a little sticker and I just grabbed the sticker 
and I want to say it says the reason someone smile be the reason someone smiles today, and that's good to be in the, put in the mental health section because sometimes when you're going through it and you're having anxiety and stuff, if you just go ahead and focus on somebody else and bless somebody else, encourage somebody else, pray over somebody else, it distracts you from your issue, and you're honestly doing the work of God at that point because you're just like taking the eyes off of you, putting it on someone else. And that is showing God's love to its uh, true extent. So there is the scripture that I settle on. I do need some large Ollie clips because I wanted like a black arch, large Ollie clip to hold like my post-its and my page flags all together and my stickers. But I can only find a little black small one. <laughs> I mean, it does the job, but I do need to buy some, um, you know, larger Ollie clips. It's just that... Golly, they're like expensive for one. I'm like, you're tripping, and I'm not gonna pay shipping for that and all that. So I was just like, and eh, no, I'm just being um tight, a tight wad. So uh, I recently got the that little post, that little uh, book bag, not book bag. What is it? Little, I don't know, pouch. And I filled it up with a lot of little post-it notes that I can keep on the table. That way, when I'm using it, I can kind of, you know, just do what I want to do. So I'm just kind of flipping through, filling out, like, what do I want to put here or there? I absolutely love this setup. I think it's just all the things that I love. It's my lister. It's my writing. It's my faith in my pretty and my functional planning. It's got encouragement for me. It's a place where I can maybe take to the couch and just be like, okay, go to town on doing a little daily, a little weekly. Um, and just because I'm going to use this as an undated planner, I can just go from week to week, especially, well, not those because those are dated, but you know how I do. I will white it out in a heartbeat and have no problem. So, um, if you're looking for inspiration for a five, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of different sections that you can do. I say shop your stash and just label out brain dump what you may think you would want it to be. Go watch some YouTube, get some inspiration, um, I feel like that's the beauty of what we do. We just kind of like gain inspiration from each other and it's just fun. I mean, I promise you, I'm not trying to be any which way. I have been a creative being since the moment I popped out of the stomach. Like I remember being five and six and playing with paper and station as early as I can remember. I don't remember being like, I don't remember being three or four. I have no memories of that, but five and six, I do remember. So see that? That's exactly what I want to do in these inserts. Just, you know, write down the, the event and then highlight it. So I noticed that I'm not going to take that out. I'm just going to kind of start whiting some of the events that I had put out here when I was using it as a daily, dated planner for 2021. I'm just going to white it out and repurpose and use that, John, for 2022. Like, why not? So, cause those are like, I think the only, I think those are like the last of the Mohicans when it comes to these inserts. And I refuse to buy any more unless this is really working for like four or five weeks, like honestly. So that's why I'm a big person of redating and relabeling because why buy it if it's really not going to work and you can just go use something in your stash. I guarantee you at some point in time as a planner girl, you have some kind of insert in that size Unless, you know, hey, you just really dwindled down and you're like, I really don't. Well, then I support you buying it. Like, go get it, girl. Um, so those will be the anxiety check-in inserts. Those were the ones where I'm just going to white out the actual dates right there and just put like, what is the problem? How can you get over it? What is some scripture you can maybe read? Like, you know, kind of like the ones that I have in my A6, I want to say, from Plan With B. I'm just going to recreate the, the headers and just kind of go to town on there. So I will have a devotion. I don't even know what year it is. As long as it's punched, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go get it from my A5 Malden and put it in here. I really don't care that it's, you know, not its intended month. Um, I just like to have devotion in every little you know, ring set up. I mean, why not punch it? It's a uh, more of like an A5 slim size. So I can just go to town on reading something encouraging and focusing on the Lord. And then I can soap study the scripture out if I want on the, or uh, write the scripture down on the horizontal. I gave myself some, um, you know, sermon and study notes. And then I gave myself some lined paper 
So I can do essentially whatever I want to do in this section that is going to bring me joy because you guys know I love, love, love the horizontal for scripture writing. I think it's the best. So um, those little line papers, oh my gosh, I need to find more of those somewhere. If you've got them and you're hoarding them, send them to me, please. Thanks. Um, or I can, you know, pay for shipping or whatever. So I've got the monthly and honestly, I don't have no use for a monthly in here, but why not? They're undated. They're like Hobonichi style. So I'm going to use those. I think I have maybe three or four months in here. I don't even know. I was gifted these as well. My friend looks like she printed on really gorgeous paper and bought the insert. So I don't even know where she would have done that at. So again, this is my whole setup. I am going to later find a pin. I do notice that I want to take out the, um, what is it called? The desk notepad that comes in here. See that how my stuff is just like flying. That's where a large Ollie clip would come into play. But I can only find a small one. So I put the small one down and it seems to just be okay for the moment. Um, you know, it just looks funny because it's like micro small with this large old planner. <laughs> so I do um, find me a pen and put it on the left hand side right there. It only came with one pen loop. It's the, I don't know, pen towel pen. It's really nice. And then I eventually take out the notepad because I feel like it's just a little too bulky. And, you know, why not have the notepad like out of its little thing or use it somewhere else? Um, so I take that out and this is how I settle with my setup. I'm so excited, y'all. I thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. As usual, you guys are amazing, and thanks for watching all my content. Take care.